Hello nieces and nephews, this is Auntie Netta and welcome to my channel. Um, you guys, I decided to do a challenge um, by me <laughs> um, for myself and I decided to use one of my bathrooms to decorate the bathroom using only dollar store items. That means Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, um, Dollar General. Um, to go to those stores and pick up items and to decorate this particular bathroom during each season. So, as you know, Valentine's Day is coming up. So, I just, you know, went to the stores and picked up a couple items and figured out how I wanted to decorate. Now, this is not for everybody, <laughs> and I get it, but I was challenging myself to see if I can um, use this dollar store items just to you know, bling out this bathroom. So, let's check it out. Let's start with the vanity area of the bathroom. And forgive me if you see me in the mirror. <laughs> I'm still in my jammies, you guys, but I did want to share um, some money-saving ideas. It could be for um, people just moving into their home or you go into your first home, your first apartment, you don't have a lot of coins on hand. All right. So this is what I decided to do. Um, as you guys probably seen this in Dollar Tree. Yes. Um, I found this in the candle aisle, this little sconce. I think that's what they call it. And then they have the little tea light battery operated candle. And it says it's supposed to last for 240, um, hours which is roughly 10 days and I just picked up a couple packs of those I'm not gonna always have them on um, but when they run out I would have some left to replace it with and of course I will put it on like if we have guests because if we have guests this will be the bathroom that they will um, go um, then of course we had that Bath and Body Works um, clearance and I use red because this is a Valentine's Day themed bathroom for right now using dollar store items. So I used the Japanese cherry blossom because it's red. Then I found these cute little tiles. Oh, this, this one dirty because <laughs> people have been using it, y'all. This is functional. This is the real deal here. But anyway, um, I picked up these tiles from Dollar Tree and they um, trimmed in like a glitter silver glitter and I thought that was pretty cute and let me wipe this down because whoever washed their hands got water everywhere and it's all good because we're keeping it real then I have this container you guys this this um, container has a lid found this at Dollar General so I decided to use that to house my bath bombs because we um occasionally we do like to take baths to soak our muscles maybe after the gym um, so yeah, so all those bath bombs that I got for 80, um, the pack of five for 80 cents at Walgreens, y'all know that clearance haul, right? Because I think it's the one right before this video. Yeah, I just took them out the pack and I just stack them up. So when I want to take a bath or anybody else want to take a bath, they can grab a bath bomb and throw it in the tub. Yes, I make my own bath bombs, but, um... I give away the bath bombs I make because they are natural and I don't want anybody else having any reactions. So I know what I have in my bath bombs, but I use these. And I tried this last night, you guys. I love this bath bomb. Not as great as mine, but it works very well. Then um, at, I think it's CVS, I ran across some... No, actually, this was Dollar General. So, this is definitely a dollar store. <laughs> um, this is a Dollar General fine. Clearance fine. Um, of course, it said Joy. But it's Kleenex, so we're going to use it. And so that the Christmas logo... Shut up, toilet. Y'all know the toilet going to run because I'm in the bathroom. Because it has the Christmas logo, we kind of tuck it behind here so no, nobody be the wiser. And it is red. All right. Then come over here. Of course, you know I have my Yankee candle. And 
Of course, the label that was on the Yankee Candle was a totally different color than what I was trying to do. But the um, label peels off easily, so I just peeled the label off. But when the cap is on, you guys, you can clearly see it's a Yankee Candle. And I think it's like a snowball, snow something candle, and it smells so good. Then, of course, you guys probably seen this heart um, glass container in Dollar Tree. I just simply use real dry flowers, you guys. I had leftover dry flowers because sometimes I put, well, sometimes I put um, real dried rose petals in my face mist when I make face mist. So, yeah, I had some. I had a whole container left over. So, I put the dried rose petals inside the heart. Then, of course, I have the two more of the tiles. All right. Then I found this cute little love little kickstand. I said kickstand because it's like that. It was two dollars at Dollar General. The only one they had left. I wish it had silver letters, letters, but it's okay because the the rim of my mirror is like a goldish color. So I'm mixing golds and silvers, you guys. We just work with what we have. Again, this is a challenge. Then at Dollar Tree. I saw this cute little sign, it's glittery, and you kind of try to match um, um, match your items. See how I got the tea light candle from Dollar Tree um, that's glittery, so I had to put a glittery sign. So when you walk in my bathroom, this is what you see. Love you. So you always tell my family love you more. So, yeah, they did have a love you more sign, but it had incorporated other colors than what I was trying to do. I was just trying to use simply red, black, and white. All right, let's move to the other side of the wall to see how I decorate the other wall. You guys, it's the other side of the wall. Let's start in the middle here where it says, I love you. Um, this little picture, or is it a picture? Remember I told you I got this little box from Dollar General? It had a lid, you guys. So I improvised. That's the lid to the box, you guys. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I thought of that idea and, hey, it is a challenge, so I ran with it. And now, you guys, in Dollar Tree, they have these cute little love signs. And they're not so little. And in Dollar Tree, I found the color black. And gold. This gold one is going to go into our bedroom. So, as you see, I have fairly big hands, you guys, for a female. And, yeah. The size, the size of this is pretty good. So, I kind of put two of them together. Then, the little hearts. Of course, I need to incorporate something glittery. And I didn't want anything too big. So, again, this is a challenge. So, I had to make do. At Dollar General, they had... It's called um, the heart garland. It was actually a garland, you guys. And I just simply removed the string. And I just used text, which you probably can't see because, well, you might can see them. I just used text because they clear text. So it just looked like glitter hearts is just floating on the wall. Okay. <laughs> and then I just, um, a dollar, was a dollar general, I just picked up two hand towels. So... When guests come, they can wipe their hands. But my plan is to use this wall on my left side of my vanity and put maybe a um, towel, not a towel, but um, a paper towel rack right here um, to so people can wash their hands and dry it with the paper towel instead of using my decorative towels, my cheap decorative towels. So this is the decor on the other side of the wall. Let's move on to the toilet area. Yes, the toilet area, you guys. All right, here is the toilet area. As you can see, just normal toilet, you guys. Just a normal toilet. No, <laughs> no whistles and everything. But um, I found these cute little heart. I don't know. It's like a look like a garland shaped into a heart with um little lips. Little smoochies. I'm going to call them smoochies. Little smooches um, around the garland heart. And I picked those up from Dollar General. And I just tacked them on the wall with the white 
type so you can't really see so it look like it's floating and of course I had to incorporate the glitter because we got to tie everything together and I put three more um, glitter hearts there now let's move down here we know about this right here of course this is a Dollar Tree um, basket and a tip I use to keep your um, bathroom smelling fresh take your extra rolls of toilet paper and get your favorite scent oil and just dab some and you probably can see the little oil spots in there dab a few oil spots in the middle of the roll just leave it there so this area will always smell fresh and found this little container this little I guess a vase a heart vase from Dollar Tree you guys seen it before right mm-hmm and I simply put some sand in there, you guys. When me and my husband was on a honeymoon um, and at the beach, I collected a lot of the sand. So I decided I kept the sand in a, um, in a big Tupperware. So every time I want to use, basically make a little decor in the bathroom, I just simply stick it in there because I do use a lot of incense just in case you want to burn incense. After doing number two, doing your business, taking your dump, you can burn your incense. And I stuck a white lighter in the little basket behind the toilet paper rolls. Then these heart stick things, found them a dollar, general for a dollar. Then you guys always have a, this one running out, always have a pack of baby wipes in there, you guys. You have things along if you will. Alright, so that this is my toilet decor. Not much, but again, this is a dollar challenge. Alright, dollar store challenge. Alright, now, far as the tub, okay, we're not going to go into detail about the tub, but I do want to share a trick with you guys to help, you know, mamas along. The worst thing about cleaning the tub is bending down there, scrubbing, you know, having your stomach over the the rim of the toilet to reach the other side. Y'all know, I don't care if you're skinny, small, tall, short. That is a problem. So what I did was pick up this, um, you know, sponge mop. Y'all familiar with that? We used to wax floors with these back in the day. I just simply used this and just clean my tub. You can get the crevices. And let's see. Oh, talk about the curtains. <laughs> you guys, these curtains here, they, of course, they're regular uh, window curtains. But I learned from my mom, because my mom is extra. Her bathroom looked like, I don't, it's just extra. She decorate her bathroom, I would say, probably every month. That's something she loved to do. So I decided to pick it back off with my me mom does and just kind of do some every season I can't do it every month or whatever but I just do it every season like you know Christmas I would do Valentine's Day spring summer fall I would even do Thanksgiving okay so well I probably can do Easter next month well that's part of spring so I'm gonna incorporate Easter with spring um but I got the rod you can get those from Family Dollar or Dollar General um, and then I got the curtains from Family Dollar and they were $10 or $14 for both panels so both panels came in the pack and it's an 84 inch alright you guys so that means I had to have it higher now I will let you know that go that dog on toilet again you guys I will let you know that when you have curtains like this and just instead of just a plain shower curtain um, liner it's going to make your bathroom look smaller. This is a fairly big bathroom, you guys. You might can't tell, but it's a fairly big bathroom. Um, but when you put the curtains up, it make it look smaller. So I don't mind because we still have the space. But I put the curtains up. I had to put it real high, almost to the ceiling, just so <laughs> I won't drag the curtain. But I like it. It's something different, you know, a challenge. That's what you do, a challenge and improvise. But... What I need for you guys, I need you um, need your help for me to decide what color I should do for my 
my shower liner. Now, y'all know I love animal prints. I mean, heck, I got animal print <laughs> pants on right now, but let me know. The zebra stripes or just a plain white? Let me know because y'all know I like to um, do a little extra. I'm not like me, more, but yeah. Let me know. So, curtain number, liner number one or just liner number two, just a plain white. I need to decide and I have to put up another um, shower rod behind this curtain so I can put my shower liner but yeah, you guys, here is my bathroom on a budget. Yeah, maybe I should do that. Bathroom on a budget. All right. Um, You guys, I'm not going to do this video, but my hubby saw it. He said, you should record that, boo. You should record that. So y'all give a thumbs up for the hubby for me sharing it because I wasn't even going to share it. Um, But this is just a little... um. A budget project for me um, to see if I could do it you know of course I'm used to having you know doing extra stuff ordering my curtains order my shower I just want to do something affordable that I can keep it going without breaking the bank all right so like this video subscribe like comment down the middle and let me know you know is this something you'll be interested in I challenge all my youtubers they try to decorate an area, an area in their home using only dollar store items. So I'm at the door. Smooches! Love you.